spring is arriving in the Alps. And as the days get longer, the mountains come alive. It's a busy time for nature, and hares in particular. With the snow vanishing, mountain hares are getting ready for spring. The color of their fur changes from white to brown. Maintaining their disguise is crucial, especially because Easter is just around the corner. But have you ever stopped to wonder where the term Easter bunny comes from? Or even heard of such a thing as an Easter hare? Let's start with some basic facts. Hares are members of the Leporidae family. They have powerful back legs and a divided upper lip. Compared to rabbits, hares are larger, have longer ears, and are less sociable. Instead of creating burrows, they make nests in the grass. Speed is crucial to hare's survival. They can run at 37 body lengths a second, while cheetahs can only manage 23. The female hare, called a jill, tests the male, called a jack, by making him give chase over several miles. If he catches her, she'll mate with him. If not, he was poor paternal material anyway. Breeding takes place between February and September and females carry their young, called leverets, for 42 days. Hares are born with their eyes open and their fur already grown, which means they don't require a lot of paternal care. But back to our question. What does a hare have to do with Easter? The answer? Nobody knows exactly. What we do know is that stories of the Easter Hare first arrived in America in the 1700s with German settlers. During spring, their children prepared nests in which the animal could lay its colored eggs. The tradition caught on in Pennsylvania and spread to the rest of the world. Around 1900, references to an Easter Hare gave way to the Easter Rabbit and then the Easter Bunny. Hares have always been a symbol of fertility because they reproduce quickly. And as spring is a time of new life, this gives us our link. Easter, springtime, hares and eggs are all about the celebration of birth and rebirth.